Hello viewers, have a good day. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to do NDVI calculation and how can we extract some portion or you can say vegetation cover from the NDVI. So for that we need two band. So we have, you can see here, two band is there. One is Lancet 8 band, another is Lancet, sorry. We have Lancet 8 band, sorry. We have Lancet 8 satellite image and you can see here, for the calculation of NDVI, we need uh, band 4 and band 5. So you can see here, I here only uh, open only band set, sorry, lens band 4 and band 5. And this is our the study area. So if I uncheck this, you can see here the band 4 as well as band 5. So what we can do here, so this is our liquid door. So we can do go to properties and you can simply click here then go to here simply click here transparent fill and you may also change the boundary color as a red or you can increase the width so after that you can see the boundary of this uh, shape file or you can solve with the word so now i want to do the ndvi calculation so for that you should go the raster click here the raster calculation and you can see here the band set so this is band 4 and band 5 so at first you should assign you the output layer so click here within this three dot and go the location where you want to save this so i want to create new file that is ndvi so within this i want to save uh, this result so i want to write here ndvi okay then click save and now you should the uh, assign the formula by that uh, the ndvi will calculate so you know that the for the calculation of ndvi ndvi for lens 8 image is uh, near infrared minus red near infrared plus red so here you can see here near infrared is band 5 and red is band 4 so at first you select this bracket okay then click here this near infrared double click here so you can see here in this bracket near infrared then just click here assign the minus then red band okay so after that bracket close then click division select the bracket then again near infrared plus red bracket close so this is the simple formula or equation by that you can easily calculate the ndvi okay then click here okay so it will take some uh, time so okay you can see here ndvi and our ndvi calculation already done so now you should uh, classify your ndvi okay so for that click here go to properties and within this here you can see our symbology from the render type select this single band pseudo color okay and this is i want to show you one technique by using that we can easily classify ndvi with using this qgi software that is the color ram within this color ram you can see here this drop down menu and here you can also see here create new color ram within this drop down menu select here and again click this drop down menu select this catalog cpt city okay then click again okay and new window will appear And within this, within this left panel, you can see here QGA, QGIS. Select here, and then click this grass. Okay. And within this grass, you can see here there is a 33 color RAM. So here you can just simply click, click this drop down, and you can see here NDVI. Just select this one. Okay. Then click OK. Okay. So now another uh, thing you can do here, you can select this equal interval. So by that we can easily uh, divide our uh, the classification into several classes so you can see here a, a, another uh, one important thing i want to mention here within this ndvi so ndvi the value actually varies from the positive uh, that means plus one to minus one so plus value represent the vegetation cover where the minus value represent the water bodies and and the values which are below 0.2 that means uh, positive below 0.2 actually represent the builder areas, soil, open, uh, you can say fallow land or bare cell, etc. 
so you can see here this is these two actually showing the blue but the values is uh, 0.02 actually represent the positive value so that should not be in blue color because uh, generally we use blue color as a uh, the represent or showing the water body so you can increase the classes okay so when i increase the class you can see here these two value actually represent the negative value so these two represent the water bodies only and other actually represent the vegetation cover so here you can see here keep a uh, 0.27 0.41 point 0.56 so these all are vegetation cover and here i want to mention other thing is that the higher value represent the healthy vegetation or dense vegetation and lower value represent that means lower positive value represent the sparse vegetation so you can see here the different kind of vegetation you can see here so here i want to assign the the color succession that means i want to give this uh, you can say the green color is light very light green okay or you may select this one very light green then okay the second one i want to increase the depth density third one i want to give this one okay or you can improve something okay so you can see here three color variation is there within this uh, vegetation cover so but this uh, the white portion actually showing the other than vegetation cover that means all built up areas fallow land current fellow bear cell etc and this uh, upper two blue color showing the all are negative values so that means this area is a uh, part of the uh, the water bodies or cloud or snow cover etc then click here apply and okay so now we can see here these uh, the figure showing correctly or you can say very precisely the vegetation cover of this Alipurdha district. This blue color showing this all are uh, the, the water bodies and the white color showing the other than uh, water bodies or vegetation cover. So now the question is that if I want to extract only vegetation then, then how we can do? For example you can see here 0 0.27, 0 0.41, 0 0.56. So from this image, I want to extract only those vegetation which has the values more than you can say 0.3. So how I can do? So that we we'll learn from here. So for that, again go to raster, click at this raster calculator, and you can see at NDVI. Okay. So double click here. So NDVI is there. So after that, you should select the greater than. So because I want to select only those value which have the value is more than 0.3 okay so this is the simple formula now you should uh, assign your output layer where you want to save this so i want to again write here ndvi and 0.3 so that means ndvi more than 0.3 that value i actually want to extract then click here save and click here ok so now you can see the interesting uh, the results so black and white you can see here ndvi 0 and 1 so 0 means the all are values which is below 0.3 and 1 means the white portion represents the value more than 0.1 sorry more than 0.3 so again go to here click here go to properties and now you should select within the symbology that is the the palette or unit value so after the selection of unique values simply click here classify now you can see here only 2 0 and 1 so now I want to remove this 0 because this is not my concern because this value represent this 0 means represent the value less than 0.3. So I want to delete this and this 1 represent the values more than 0.3. So I want to select only this and I want to assign with this uh, vegetation cover. Now click here apply and ok. So after that you just uncheck all of this ok. And just here so now you can see here within this map the showing the vegetation cover the area which is more than 0.3 but if you see the very dense vegetation okay then how can do similar process again go to raster calculate here select this uh, NDVI the first one okay and sorry this one NDVI select this one and select this one and write 0.4 so I want to extract a value which 
uh, actually uh, more than 0 0.4 or you can say 0 0.5 I want to extract the vegetation cover which value is more than 0.5 again click here uh, select one this one and write the name is 0 0.5 so click here save then ok so process already completed now uncheck this click here go to properties select this one classify delete this one give color then apply so now you can see the value is very less if i zoom it you can see only a simple or small portion you can see here so that means the vegetation cover which value is more than 5 the area is very less so now you can do another thing so i can take the middle one that means select again this ndvi so i want to take values more than 0.4 only okay find 4 then i can select here ndvi that is 0.4 more than 0.4 save then okay so now uncheck this last one again go to here go to properties select this one classify delete zero and assign this as a this green color okay okay apply okay so now this is you can see here the vegetation cover which have value more than 0.4 so now we can see here only vegetation cover we can see or present here so other thing is vanish so this is the simple uh, tutorial by which you can easily extract vegetation cover uh, according to your need for your study area. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.